Censorship. Hi everyone, Sharon here. First of all, Simon Parks has put out an update on his website simonparks.org. He gave a timeline for what we can expect. He says by Christmas we'll know most of what's going on because he says the Alliance has been too covered in its operations and it has to be more in our face. Hooray. I said that a while ago. He said by January slash February the full truth will be revealed and announcements of Gasera will start in February slash March. Tax reductions are coming and once the bad guys are kicked out, they can stop charging us for monies they were skimming off. It's looking like 2022 will be a much better year. The problem with people waking up, he says, is that they believe the news so the MSM has to be overtaken. In this video of Simon's, he caught word that a member of Connecting Consciousness had said that he favors some of his members over others. He called this person out, not by name, but addressed them directly and asked them to quit the organization. That's what I like about him. He does things the same way I do. He has zero tolerance for toxic people who enjoy causing shit. This is the situation on Facebook for me. Since October 17th this year, I have been experiencing even more censorship than I normally was before. It seems that only fewer than 10 people are getting my posts, and when I checked with my other account, nothing was going out after October 17th. I started to see posts a week afterwards, but it seems they're only going out to a handful of people. Actually 10 is an improvement over their initial move to censor me because it was at zero at that point. Turns out, sending white light energy to their facilities does make a difference, however my account has not been completely reset. Understand that this, and other means of censorship is happening to others that you follow. When someone is not being censored to this degree, it's because they are reporting disinformation. Facebook is a huge platform for disinformationists like the one who said that JFK JR would show up on November 2nd and his father would come back from the dead to travel around Dealey Park and then he would die a week later. People actually reposted that from Telegram. I thought it was hilarious and frankly, who needs posts that are trying to make a fool out of you? It seems that Mew is asking for money to keep itself going. You get 30 days free and then you have to start paying. If I were to ask all of my followers to do this, Mew would be getting a lot of money. I always give preference to not-for-profit organizations because life isn't about making profit. Yes, your salary if you take one, comes out of the funding, but I believe this is the way of the future. Not making money for its own sake. NPOs, in my opinion have greater goals than just the making of money, and that is to say, NPOs which are legitimate, because a lot of the bigger organizations these days are just the DS pocketing the profits. Understand that the DS creates the problem, let's say through weather manipulation, and then when people start pouring out financial donations, then the DS schemes off the top and those who were intended to receive the monies are still left in poverty. That's the way the DS wants to keep us, broke. The reason for that is, of course, is if you're struggling with money how are you going to manage the rest of your life? The good part about being broke all the time is you really experience what being a slave to money is like and you're more inclined to want to change it, and it can be changed. So back to censorship. I am censored on here to some degree, however I don't put all my eggs in one basket. Many people take the text from my website and post it around and I thank you for doing that. For now you can still see my website and if someday you couldn't, I'd start another one. I've had one other website get taken down already so I know they would do it if they felt I was that much of a threat to them. I believe I get away with what I'm doing because of plausible deniability. Were I to become enough of a threat they would simply say I'm some kind of kook trying to start a cult or something and nobody should listen to me. And for those who would be sucked in by this narrative, well, I can't help you either. Because I don't put all of my eggs in one basket I have tried gab as well, but when I tried to paste a link to my website, it was censored and the message was similar to FB's community standards message, so I refused to deal with them anymore. Sorry for the people who were following me there, but it's a matter of ethics and that ethic is free speech. Even us space alien kooks should have a place to post our posts. LOL. So I'm trying Parlor. I've started an account there at Sharon Stuart and Divo and you can follow me there. I don't know if Parlor allows commenting, I'm so unfamiliar with it but let me restate my terms of engagement on social media. There is no laugh button on Parlor. There is on Facebook and for those whose first contact with me includes using the laugh button to ridicule anyone in any way, including me, your first contact with me will also be your last contact with me. The same goes for toxic commenting. I only deal with people who are reasonable and who don't have a toxic ego, 
who don't use social media for the sake of putting down another person. These people are still duality thinkers, and don't realize that humans are of unity consciousness. When you do, you will understand that laughing at another is harming yourself because in laughing at another you are engaging in projection. When you do this, you in fact are showing what it is you are afraid of. If you are 20 pounds overweight and then see someone who is 100 pounds overweight, and you laugh at them it's because you fear becoming 100 pounds overweight. Keep it up, you'll get there eventually. Why? Because by directing this negative fear energy at another person you are harboring it within yourself already. That fear is already there and unless you can change, you will manifest becoming a lot bigger. That person is only showing you what it is you fear becoming. The fear is already within you. Someone who doesn't fear becoming obese would only wonder what you're laughing at. They wouldn't understand. Obviously, the way to lose weight is to stop fearing becoming obese. Well, it's the same with people posting on social media. The same goes for people who laugh at others because they think they're making stupid comments. You're afraid of looking stupid, so you conduct yourself in this toxic way to appear as if you are smarter than the person you are laughing at. Okay, you may be smarter but your kindness could be worked on. Your ego will always take in order to create a false appearance. It robs you of kindness in order to make you look smart. It robs you of the ability to forgive in order to keep up a false sense of victimhood. It robs you of compassion in order to keep you from feeling vulnerable. The ego is a thief. For those of you who are afraid of leaving your comfortable bubble, don't follow me. My life path has been extreme and will become even more ESO when I leave the matrix behind to go and live in 5D with Ivo. That's why I can't go further with my sister, she doesn't even want to meet Ivo. She just likes the comfortable bubble she's living in, the one where she doesn't have enough money and spends every day suffering and worrying about her future. To each his own. If you believe that the only reason I do all this work every day and put up videos and post all the time is so you can laugh at it, then you clearly don't understand me very well, and if you are going to make a point of misunderstanding what I'm doing, I can't help you and you will be blocked. For those people who have messaged me, like the one I received last week, saying that all ETS visiting Earth now are not of the highest good, you obviously have a lot of fear about aliens and you are not someone I want to know. I speak to some very highly conscious, unity-minded beings of love, grace, gentleness, and humility every damned day so you can just take your fears and deal with them yourself. I can't help you either. Why you think that your messaging me is going to change my mind I have no idea. You just come out of the blue with a message that's contrary to what I've been saying and figure I'm going to even bother reading it. Yes, I know there are some who come here for less conscious reasons. They are being taken off the planet and the ones who are working to just improve our technology or to observe this ascension process are watched by the higher consciousness ETS to ensure they don't start messing with us. Believe me, we are perfectly safe with the Pleiadans, Vegans, Venusians and Sarayans overseeing this process. Your fears are unfounded. For those who have fears, I'm telling you they're the only things that can actually hurt you. Because when you fear, you attract what you fear in order that you learn how to stop fearing it. Like they say, the only thing to fear is fear itself, and that's true. If your intention is to disrupt and to create arguments on my timeline, then you will be blocked and not able to see my posts anymore. If you are not mature enough to be able to read posts and comment without starting fights with other people, then you are not going to make yourself my problem. I'm not a referee and don't believe in duality consciousness, nor will I deal with those who display its negative aspects. I don't know if Parlor has trolls and shills, but it is humanoid nature when the frequency is low enough to cause shit with other people. And I won't have it. That is why, by the way you can't comment on any of my recent videos. Because I don't do this work to be insulted, controlled, dominated, and to have to referee arguments between trolls and my supporters who haven't learned yet how to stop fighting and arguing. All you need to do is get your frequency up to where you feel blissful and peaceful once or twice and you'll realize how futile fighting with others is. For those who have had uncharacteristic white light moments of pure bliss, what do you think they were trying to show you? They were trying to encourage you to change. Go down to the beach, lie in the sun for an hour and then understand that the bliss you're feeling at being soaked in the sun's rays is the joy that is waiting to be unleashed within you. But you have to do the work. You don't get there without dealing with your shadow. What I'm looking for is a platform where I can say whatever I want and not be censored at all. I'm hoping that Trump's platform will be it when he starts it. And as for aliens, I'm sure he won't mind my posting about them seeing as he's already very aware that they exist and are helping the people of Earth.
One last comment about staying on Facebook, being of fourth dimensional vibration, you begin to stand up for everyone's rights, not just your own. Free speech is a right all of us should have. Facebook does not allow free speech, so why are you even on there anymore? I'm a victim and I have to take what they give me, that doesn't cut it anymore. We're taking our power back collectively and I suggest you do the same. This isn't about me anymore, it's about us. Some keep saying, we're all in this together, and that's partially true, but yes, those who are experiencing the short end of the stick and having our rights revoked are in this together and we're fighting. Everything you do from now on counts towards creating a new world. Yes, you. Everything you do. If you're on a platform like Facebook that continually censors people like me, why are you on it? Some of you may know that I have stayed on Facebook because you guys wouldn't leave, but I'm at the point now that this is your last call. I'll stay on YouTube because they're not as bad but Facebook may go the way of the dodo because my posts are only going out to fewer than 10 people. I use it as a source of intel but even that is drying up because of censorship. With my posts going out to fewer than 10 people, there's no reason for me not to switch to another platform. I still go on there because I like seeing even these 10 people but I may build up a following elsewhere provided I find a free speech platform. It's time we stand up for our rights, folks. And that even includes social media. Ivo, very good, my love. Me, thank you, Ivo.